I'm Bob with IT Supplies, and today I'm going to show you how to control white ink and varnish on the V7000 using the Epson Edge Print software. Here we are in front of the V7000. The V7000 by Epson is a high ga gamut 10 color flatbed that has the capability of printing both white and varnish. Epson has put a lot of work into this printer to make this unit extremely easy to use. One of the ways they have accomplished this is by bundling the printer with the new rip called Epson Edge Print. This rip has some easy to use features that will help you identify spot white and varnish layers on your files. Let's take a look and see how this works. First off, we are gonna import a job into Epson Edge Print that has been identified with spot colors for both white and varnish. The job is here on screen. And within this job, we're gonna click over here on color replacements. When we're in color replacements, you're gonna see your spot varnish. These are what we named it in the file, spot, spot varnish and spot white. If we click edit, we can click on spot varnish and here you'll see some options down below. We're gonna change where it says specify output color. We're gonna change it from CMYK to CMYK plus white and varnish. Then we're gonna set our varnish level. This is very important. This is where we actually go and set the percentage of varnish. So sometimes people like to apply varnish uh, to get a really glossy appearance. The temptation is to apply varnish at a level of 100%. I don't recommend this simply because dust in the print room environment can be a factor. If you're doing a whole image print and you're setting varnish at 100%, you're probably gonna see some dimpling within your varnish. The recommendation that we have is to set your varnish somewhere between 20% and 50%, depending upon the glossy appearance that you want. In this case, I'm gonna set it for 30%. So we go to where the VR is and we're gonna set it for 30. Next up, we're gonna go and click on the edit and that's gonna lock that in. Now I'm gonna to drop to spot white and I'm gonna click on edit again. Here, we're gonna go down to specify output color and we're gonna to go to CMYK plus white. We're gonna leave white at 100% uh, so we get a really bright white out of this. And then we're gonna click on edit and lock that particular file in. So at this point, we've done the adjustments in Edge Print to manage both white and varnish. Now let's go ahead and print. All right, so you've seen the printer printing. Here is the final output. Great color, no dimpling. We certainly hope that this video has helped you better understand the V7000 capabilities and what Epson brings to the table. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have questions, please reach out to your sales rep at IT Supplies. We're gonna be more than happy to help you. Thanks so much for watching.